everybody, what is going on? Raven here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about something along with Disney, okay? So, shareholders are outraged with the way things are going with Disney lately. And they are claiming that the magic is gone. They want CEO Bob Chapek, or Chapek, to be voted out. It isn't just about the fact that the magic is gone. People are outraged with the prices increasing of Disney parks, the super long lines at, you know, at the rides and all of that, you know, price of tickets, food, merchandise is all hiked up tremendously at Disneyland and Disney World. And there's a declining customer service at the theme parks as well, along with other things. Now, if any of you have actually been to Disney Park, Disney World, Disneyland, anything like that lately, let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you agree with this. One angry shareholder who recently visited Disney World's Epcot vented over long lines and the fact that they have to now pay for access to FastPass, a program that allows customers to make reservations for rides without having to stand in one. They said, the magic is gone. Parks are oversold. Two hour plus wait times for everything, including major rides like Ratatouille, the Rise of the Resistance, we're all down all day. Plus, charging now for fast pass access, like I said. Charging for parking at Disney resorts, no parades, food prices are out of control. How many millions does one CEO need? Now, this is all in the quote. I'm going to share the link in the description. What do you think of this? The fact that they're not even doing parades anymore. I mean, technically part of that could, part of this issue could be because of current events. Current events do seem to be changing for the better as of right now that I've heard recently. But for this to be going this high that even shareholders are angry, I think that this is a pretty severe problem. One of the other shareholders also called out his hefty $32.5 million in compensation in 2021. That is a very hefty price tag. Just to tell you guys how expensive things are, here's an example. A two-night stay at the Halkion Star Cruiser starts at $4,809 on weekends. Now, this is for the most modest package. It is a two-guest cabin, according to the website. For a three-guest cabin, price is raised to $5,299. And for four guest cabin, it's almost $6,000. That is a bit pricey. So I do think that I agree with this. It, that is a bit pricey. That is a hefty price tag to pay for a two day thing. You know, just for like a weekend over there. That seems to be quite ridiculous. And also, I'm also going to say this. They have been recreating the same Disney movies for a long time. We did get lucky with in Encanto and with Luca. But all the rest of the movies right now that they have been doing are recreations of the originals. Like, how many Cinderella movies do we have now? They are redoing Cheaper by the Dozen and saying it's a new original. It is not an original movie. It is just a recreation of the original Cheaper by the Dozen movie. So, is the magic gone? What do y'all think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you liked today's video, found it informative, or you agree with it in one way or another, hit the like button. And if you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell. They are free, easy to do, and it tells you every single time I upload, which is pretty much every single day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!